Good morning. Uh, welcome to um, our class on today, and we're actually doing this virtually. Um, it's actually become the new norm for us, but I just want to welcome you guys today to um, our lesson, our virtual lesson. And I'm actually going to be talking to you guys in reference to what's going on in the world today. And um, I want to ask you a question. And the question is, are you afraid of the coronavirus? And if you are, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It is really pretty scary um, that something this dangerous is sweeping the world. And it's, a, it's affecting all of our daily lives. But... God does not want us to live in fear. He doesn't want us to be afraid of what we may be seeing that's going on around us. So here are some big truths that I came up with to present to you today and just talk to you and give you some encouragement of, of what you may be dealing with. Um, the Bible um, reminds us that when we're feeling afraid that God is in control. So that's one of the things that I want to talk to you guys about today, and that is God is in control. The coronavirus is scary because it feels like we are out of control. It feels like, like we have absolutely no control of what is being called the invisible um, disease, the invisible virus, the, the invisible unknown, okay? Well, we actually know what it is. It's a virus that's attacking the world and it's affecting a lot of people. Um, but the truth is we never ever really had control. Um, God was and God is right now and right now and nothing will ever change that. God was and God is still in control. Right now your daily routine of going to school, of going to recess, being with your friends, eating lunch with them and just having that time with your friends away from home, that has been interrupted. And playing outside even playing outside, riding your bikes, that's been interrupted. If you go outside, you now have to put on a mask. That's not the normal thing that you normally had to do. You can't even have close contact with your friends. But Proverbs 19 and 29 reminds us that many are the plans in a person's heart, but the Lord purpose, but the Lord's purpose prevails. And that purpose is right now, even though things are interrupted, we still have to honor God. Pastor just taught us that um, we honor those that are in control. It's the Lord's will for us to honor. And we must honor what's going on right now. So we have to protect ourselves. So when you go outside and you ride your bikes, make sure you have on your mask. You go in the house, you wash your hands, you put on hand sanitizer. So um, in all of that, remember God is in control. Um, even when you feel like we're, uh, even when you feel like um, you have no control, God actually is. So don't worry. God has not lost control in this situation and he never will. He will, he will never lose control of what's going on. Um, what, has hap what is happening has not caught God by surprise. God could have blocked this and this could not uh, have happened. God has a plan. And that's the second thing. God has a plan. Right now, a lot of us are just having to cancel everything going on around us. But um, Romans 8 and 28, if you want to get your Bibles, you can turn to Romans 8 and 28 and Roman 8 and 28 it encourages you and myself um, that we know that all things God all things works together for the good of those that love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose 
So as I close, I just want you to know that even when you can't make a plan, even when you can't do the things that you normally would do during this pandemic, Reverend Ramel also reminded us today that during the pandemic, don't panic. Don't panic at what you see. I know that a lot of us have been talking to your parents, you know, reaching out to your parents. Are, are your parents okay? How are your parents handling this? But I want to talk to you today. And I want to, to encourage you and know that this is not normal for you. And, and things just may not seem to be going right. <laughs> You're having to be at home all day. Your parents are now your teachers. You know, so just know that God has a plan. It is, it is right now God's plan and his will for you to be home with your parents and your parents are teaching you and things are different. Remember and have faith and know that one day God will turn this thing around. That's our hope. Our hope is in knowing that God is in control, God has a plan, and God will turn this thing around for the good of those of us who loves him. So I want you to remember and know this week, don't panic during the pandemic and just continue, continue to do what we are being asked to do. Continue to listen to your, to your parent teachers and do what is necessary for you to do. Okay. I love you guys. I miss you guys. And I look forward to seeing you soon when God says so. Love you. Mwah.